Hello Aztecs, welcome to Lesson 2, Contracting Muscles. Last time we talked about muscles, tendons, bones, ligaments, and joints. This time we're going to talk about how we can move the body and all the different ways we can move the body just by contracting muscles when we think. After we were born, we spent years just learning how to do basic movements. Think of the progression of humans. It takes babies a really long time to learn how to get on all fours, eventually crawl, eventually stand and balance, walking, learning to run, all the other movements, hopping, skipping, jumping, dancing, jumping rope. It all takes time, practice, and skill. So what is it that we're practicing? We're just practicing how to contract and relax our muscles instantly as our brain tells our body how to move. It's really incredible when you think about it. It can literally take us decades to perfect a movement skill. Eventually, when we're adults and we've been practicing throughout a lifetime, we get pretty good at all these movements. Some of us get so good at all these movements that we can make a living off of it and spend a lifetime perfecting our movements. Let's get back to trying to understand how it is that we can contract and relax our muscles to control our body. What actually happens? Remember the last time when I told you that muscles were like a rubber band and the rubber band is connected to the bone. So when you contract the muscle, you're able to pull the bone in the direction that you want it to go. That action is called contracting a muscle. The muscle fibers get shorter. And because everything gets so bunched up in there and tight, the muscle feels hard and you can see it pop out. For you to be able to move your arm in one direction, the muscles on the other side of your arm have to be able to relax so they don't fight against each other. And this works the other way as well. When you're contracting your triceps, you're relaxing your biceps, or at least stabilizing your biceps. This is the general idea of how we control the movement of our whole body. Picture one side moving, the other side relaxing or stabilizing, and then you have movement. And all the movements that we make are controlled by the brain which sends signals throughout the body. And just like a puppet master, our brain controls the movements of our body. Think of our muscles as the strings that move this puppet. Can you guess what the strongest muscle in the body is? A muscle that never takes a break? This is also what a muscle looks like when it's not connected to a bone. Instead of like skeletal muscles helping your body move all around, internal muscles usually help move things through itself. In this case, blood throughout the body. And that's about it for contracting muscles. Hopefully now you understand how we move the body. We contract on one side while stabilizing or relaxing on the other. Another way we can move a muscle is by stretching and making the muscle as long as possible. In this picture, this man is stretching his bicep and the inside part of his forearm. In the next picture, the woman is stretching her tricep by grabbing her elbow and making that muscle as long as possible. There are different types of names for these muscle contractions, concentric, eccentric, and isometric, but you don't have to know this yet. I just put it out there for those of you who want to dig a little bit deeper. That's it for lesson two, contracting muscles. Now you need to go over and take the quiz. See you next time.